So, hi, it's me, Denny Daniel, at the <coughs> Hologram Secret Speakeasy, the first one we've done, the amazing Hologram Secret Speakeasy uh, 2019, and we're doing our very first of the uh, um, package openings, or unboxings, which I never heard of until I did a thousand of them. <coughs> uh, so the way I do this is like a 40-second street shell game, where I mix up the packages really badly. <laughs> yeah, this is terrible. That's about the worst mixing if you want to play a 40-second street shell game. And go ahead, each one of you take out one package. Oh, and I have scissors. Let me get out the scissors first. I should have done that already. Where are my scissors first? So grab a package, and then grab a scissor. And grab a package, and grab a scissor. Oh, this is a good way to do this, Amanda, right? Yeah. Like this, yeah. Why did this take five years to figure out that I should hold the scissors like this? <laughs> By the way, Sam, I, I used to like cut school and go to his place in the village, in the Soho, for holograms. <laughs> That's the Reader's Digest version of that story. <laughs> That's my bad mixing. Are you confused? <laughs> oh no, then I gotta do more. <laughs> and there you go. That was your bad mixing. I always hear the Mission Impossible song whenever you guys do this. I'm gonna be sued by them for thought crime. <laughs> ah, you opened the, oh, this is perfect for you, Sam. <laughs> you opened up a 3D magazine. So that is 3D Circus from like early to mid 1900s. Oh my God, that is a great, that I'm gonna put right on the table so you guys can see it. It's perfect for this presentation, but it's also perfect because he is basically the god of holograms <laughs> and 3D and everything, so this really? is the oh. source. <laughs> yeah. so that's the no. <laughs> yes, there is a deity mm -hmm. for that. Um, and then what's your name? Charlotte. Charlotte opened up the cutest thing, oh my God, a Womp Key Christmas, which is a, a 3D animation VHS. And we do a 3D VHS festival several times a year. So this is gonna be probably at that. The Intrepid just called. You guys are the first to know before my mother. They want me to do a whole week at the Intrepid doing 3D VHS animation. So you guys are welcome to come by. I'll send you an email about it and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And probably Jerry uh, Marks, the guy who did the Rolling Stones in 3D, I'm gonna ask him to talk. And you guys know before Jerry. <laughs> but I'm sure he'll be happy to. I hope. Who opened up the next one? Oh my god, this is perfect for you. <laughs> it's kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah, the, the coincidence is unmistakable. So this is Martina, the uh, the head honcho of the of the hologram hollow center. So if you haven't heard of the hollow center, look them up. Uh, but she opened up magic lantern slides. Mickey Mouse magic lantern slides. These are the first uh, basically the first uh, projectors. This is uh, PowerPoint before PowerPoint. So you would buy these glass slides. They're from around the 1930s. And you would put it in a magic lantern, which I have on the table over there, and you can look them up. Uh, we did a magic lantern presentation here uh, in May. And I read an hour and a half of these things. And if you look at the text, you'll see how hard that was. Uh, in the dark, no less. Uh, but this was basically your PowerPoint before PowerPoint. And it's perfect for a person who does holograms because this is what you would have been doing 100 years ago, for sure. <laughs> and you would have been a very good artist at it, I'm sure. So, oh, put the packaging, um, the, keep everything together, wet the packaging for later cataloging. Finally, someone opened up the Superman 3D. This is such an important piece. This is a great piece, and there's a, I believe there's a spoof of it or something over there on the table by, I think, Mighty Mouse or something. Oh, and what's your name? Natalia. Natalia opened up the Spider-Man 3D uh, comic book. Oh, Spider-Man. The Superman 3D. There's a Spider-Man over there, and that's why I get confused. That is really cool. This is going to be a start. You, you, yeah, this is like an iconic one, this one. So. All right. Uh, and who's next? My new claim to fame. I know, right? 
break the news to mother. Oh, and what's your name? Ariel. So you have to Ariel. 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 You have to break the news to mother. So this is this is an important uh, piece. Now most people think it's a Civil War song. It actually wasn't a Civil War song. Um, it was a Spanish American War uh, song. And um, and then World War One, they pretty much usurped it, and it became kind of a World War One song. Uh, break the news to mother. You can guess it's soldier, and the soldier passes it on. And break the news to mother. I actually have the original glass slides for this. Wow. So the glass slides didn't come with a booklet like yours. And I don't like to lie to people and just make up stories. Uh, it's unethical as an educator. So I was like, I've got to find this, the lyric. So I actually found the lyrics to the song and I f and the glass slides match with the lyrics so when we do the magic lantern show uh, I'll be singing right out of the thing that you opened thank you very much because we just opened this at my apartment we do stuff in the apartment now people will call me up and, and do uh, box openings and I do a whole tour <laughs> and we opened up the glass slides and I'm like all right so somebody has to open up the lyrics because I don't know what to say <laughs> so thank you for my cue cards <laughs> Uh, and then you opened, uh, oh wait. Yeah. And it's from Canada. Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> Felix in 3D. Felix the cat. In 3D. And you're all getting the song in your head now, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what's your name? Betty. And Betty, funny enough, is, a, is an educator. <laughs> um, so that's a really cool one to open up. More 3D stuff. So this is perfect for today's show. I'm going to put everything on the table for you guys to look at. You opened up like the mother of Right, stuff. I have Legend the Man of Steel. And then I have Space 1999. Ooh, Space, wow! And this is very cool one. So, Ava is part of the Greater Astoria Historical Society, which I also worked with, and I was actually part of for a long time, uh, and Morbid Anatomy, uh, both organizations that are family with this museum. So, there's n n not enough good things I can say about both organizations. So, look them up, and we're going to do lots of events to them. Now, this is the one I actually purchased. Space 1999, because we have a show, Back to the Futurist. That's part of the show. These are donations from a guy on eBay. Yeah, yeah. these guys are so sweet. Some of them have hunted me down. Guys on, on auction websites, even in Russia, have found my phone number and called me in Russia, from Russia, and have like brought me items and donated items and become very good friends. And for about two years, our bartender was an eBay person who sold me Prohibition stuff. So they find me and then they send extra stuff. So I don't, I didn't even get these. These are great <laughs> to add to the collection. We have a whole history of animation. So that's really sweet. I, I can't even tell you how I honor that anybody did that. That's cool. And then we have one last piece, Henry's. Oh my God, this is perfect. <laughs> This is, oh, so Henry is a fantastic East Village um, artist, um, known all over the world. And this is the deep image um, by Ray Zone. Ray Zone is like the 3D uh, god. Uh, this guy was a proponent of uh, 3D. He loved 3D from the very, very early days when nobody was really into it and it was like cheesy or something. And he was trying to show that 3D really is viable. Uh, finally, with Avatar, everyone's on the everyone was on the bandwagon. But this guy was doing it way before traveling around the country. He passed away not many years ago, and uh, I'm on the board of the 3D Society, 3D Association here in New York, and they did a whole tribute for him. And I figured we really need to get some things in the museum from him because he was such an amazing educator, not just creator of this stuff. And this is one of the magazines he did. And um, do, you, do you know about this magazine? Or I do. I yeah. figured, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of the iconic <laughs> ones, and I love that picture. It looks like a 1950s 3D uh, movie. <laughs> um, so these are all like really cool pieces and perfect for tonight. It's ironic, but it's a coincidence oh. that you guys... Now, did I get everybody? Yes? Excellent. So, give me a hand. Thank you. You are now deputized as museum curators. <laughs> so let's put them on the table over oh, here so that I can figure out what went to what, and then I'm going to get them on the table. So put them back in the envelope? Yeah, put them with the envelopes. You don't have to put them back in, just on top of the envelope.